This video is meant to show you the Lightorama Sequence Editor's Paint Sequence Tool. The Paint Sequence Tool is this one right here with a little paintbrush on it. Before we actually try it out though, I want to first show you a couple of little sequences that I've already made. So let's open and then select this checkerboard sequence here. It looks like a checkerboard. And it's a short sequence, it's only four seconds long, and it uh, goes back between on and off and on and off every half a second. And let's play it and uh, watch the lights. So they're jumping back and forth between the lights. And another sequence that I've already made is fading V. Again, it's only a short little sequence, and it has this pattern where it fades up and fades down on a couple of channels, and it does that in a V fashion. So let's play and watch the channel buttons. So that's the fading V sequence. Now these sequences are just little patterns that you're unlikely to use directly as part of your show, but they might be things that you want might want to use in parts of sequences that are in your show. So that's where the paint sequence tool comes in. So let's close this sequence and create a new sequence so that we can try out the paint sequence tool. You can use it on either new musical sequences or animation sequences. Either one is fine, whichever you want. Let's try it out on a new animation sequence. Let's say that we have 16 channels and it's a minute long and let's say there are 10th second timings and click on OK. That opens up uh, the new, uh, this new sequence. On the time scale, we can see maybe three and a half seconds worth of time on our screen. Let's compress it down a little bit so we can see a little more. Whoops, that's compressed, uncompressing it. <laughs> let's compress it down so we can see, let's say, seven and a half seconds or so. That's fine. And now let's try out this paint sequence tool. If we click on it, uh, you didn't see it happen because it happened out of the area that I'm recording the video in. but when I clicked on that button, that opened up this little dialog window here, the Paint Sequence dialog. And the first thing on the Paint Sequence dialog is this drop-down box that's asking us for a sequence. So let's click on it and see what our choices are. We have no choices. <laughs> so what we have to do is add sequences. So let's add new sequence. And that opens up this file browser and we can select a sequence that we want to add to the dialog. For example, let's take that checkerboard sequence that we looked at before. Now checkerboard is available in this drop-down box, and in fact, it's the only choice because it's the only one we've added. Now let's apply the paint sequence tool to let's say four seconds starting at one second. It makes a checkerboard in those four seconds. And let's undo that, and let's do it only for two seconds this time. It does the first two seconds of the checkerboard. Uh, let's undo it and try it for more than four seconds. It just repeats the checkerboard as far as we've um, as far as we've selected. And let's undo that, and we can add the excuse me, add the fading V sequence as well. And now we have two choices. We can do a fading V or a checkerboard. Let's do the fading V. And let's do the checkerboard. And you can go back and forth between them quickly. Now I only selected a little bit of time here so it only was able to get a little bit into the V. If I had selected more, it would have done the V multiple times, as many times as, I, as, as it takes to fit into the area that I selected. Now, that behavior is actually because I have this repeat mode selected, which is the default, but there are other modes as well. For example, stretch. If we stretch the V, 
no matter what time range we select, it will try to put that pattern perfectly to fit into it. It'll stretch it out to fit into that amount of time. Or if you select less time, like the pattern itself is four seconds, remember. If I select only a second or so, it'll compress it down when I have this stretch mode. So stretch is really either stretching or compressing, depending on whether you do it longer than four seconds, or longer than the length of the pattern, that is, or shorter than the length of the pattern. There's also by cell. Uh, if you remember, um, <clears throat> let's take a look at it, actually. The uh, checker, uh, the fading V pattern, it has half second cells, and each half second it's either fading up or fading down. Uh, if we uh, paint by cell, it sticks the things into cells, even though those cell these cells are only a tenth of a second long, whereas these were a, a half of a second long. It makes one cell in this sequence be painted into one cell in this sequence, ignoring how long the, the timings are. So let's try adding a new grid that's a second long and let's switch to that grid and now when you do it by cell again it puts one cell from this sequence into this sequence even though that cell is a second long whereas this cell is only a half second long by time is the other option and that will just uh, paste however long we select it will paste the pattern for uh, the length that the pattern is actually in this sequence. So the sequence we're painting from is four seconds long. So when you select by time, it'll always paint it to be four seconds, regardless of how much or how little you select when you do the paint. So let's select a little bit it still does four seconds. Let's select a lot. It's, uh, I started that a little early. It still does four seconds, no matter what. So these repeat stretch by cell and by time can uh, make the paint sequence tool behave in various different ways. And you may want one of them in one case and another one in another case. Uh, so you should play around with that. Now let's, um, one more thing about the paint sequence tool, but let's turn a bunch of this off, sequence off, so that we have a, a blank canvas to work in for a while. Now let's, uh, let's say that we have um, a shimmer. All of these channels are shimmering, but I want a fading V to be done here, but I want it to keep shimmering when it's not uh, doing the V. So if I were to take the paint sequence tool as it is and just did the stretch and selected this area, it would overwrite the shimmer. So even these areas where it's not actually fading, it's no longer shimmering. It's just doing nothing. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to, to stay shimmering in those sections. So I can select this from foreground option and then paint by stretch and it puts the fading V in but it leaves the shimmers in the place where uh, the V wasn't or if I tried the checkerboard it now has the checkerboard on pattern but wherever the checkerboard was off it has left the shimmers so that's the from foreground option so I think that's it for the paint sequence option. It's uh, handy for uh, if you build up a collection of little sequences that are patterns that you might want to use in other parts of other sequences. Paint sequence can be really handy to, uh, to build complicated sequences out of little simple patterns. So I think that's it. I hope this helps.